I'm up here to say thank you to God for giving me this ability, for blessing me, for shaping me, for chastising me, for teaching me, for punishing me, for allowing me to be a vessel and touch people around the world. So keep working, keep striving, never give up, fall down seven times, get up eight. Without commitment, you'll never start. But more importantly, without consistency, you'll never finish. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. That itch that you have to be whatever it is you want to be, that itch, that desire for good is God's proof to you sent already to indicate that it's yours. You already have it. Claim it. Understand this. Understand this also. You have these dreams. Dreams without goals remain dreams, just dreams, and ultimately fuel disappointment. Dreams without goals, yearly goals, life goals, daily goals, monthly goals, hourly goals, minute by minute goals. Dreams without goals are just dreams, and they ultimately fuel disappointment. Goals on the road to achievement cannot be achieved without discipline and consistency. You understand? Between goals and achievement are discipline and consistency. I pray that you all put your shoes way under the bed at night so that you gotta get on your knees in the morning. Thank God for grace and mercy and understanding we all fall short of the glory. We all got plenty. Just, if you just start thinking of all the things you got to say thank you for, that's a day, right? So you have all been given these gifts and we all have that unique gift to go out and touch people, to affect people, understand that gift, protect that gift, appreciate that gift. Utilize that gift, don't abuse that gift, treasure it. You have it, you already have it. And finally, I'll say this, you'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. I'll say it again, you'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. Now, I've been blessed to make hundreds of millions of dollars in my life. I can't take it with me, and neither can you. So it's not how much you have, it's what you do with what you have. And we all have different gifts. Some money, some love, some patience, some the ability to touch people. But we all have it. Use it. Share it. That's what counts. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on, but I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything except my faith. I want to fall forward. This is what I mean. Reggie Jackson struck out 2,600 times in his career, the most in the history of baseball. But you don't hear about the strikeouts. People remember the home runs. Fall forward. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Because the 1,001st was the light bulb fall forward. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You've got to take risks, and I'm sure you've probably heard that before, but I want to talk to you about why that's so important. First, you will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. 
you will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. There's no doubt about it. Embrace it because it's inevitable. And I should know. But here's the thing. I didn't quit. I didn't fall back. I prayed. I prayed and I prayed. But I continued to fail and fail and fail. But it didn't matter because you know what? There's an old saying, you hang around the barbershop long enough, sooner or later you're gonna get a haircut. So you will catch a break and I did catch a break. Here's my second point about failure. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. I'll say it again. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. My wife told me this great expression. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Les Brown's a motivational speaker. He made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? So you got to get out there. You got to give it everything you got, whether it's your time, your, your, your talent, your prayers, or your treasures. What are you going to do with what you have? Because the chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. Never be discouraged. Never hold back. Give everything you got. And when you fall throughout life, remember this. Fall forward. Number one, put God first. Put God first in everything you do. Everything that you think you see in me, everything that I've accomplished, everything that you think I have, and I have a few things, everything that I have is by the grace of God. Understand that it's a gift. I've been protected, I've been directed, I've been corrected. I've kept God in my life and has kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. So stick with him in everything you do. If you think you want to do what you think I've done, then do what I've done and stick with God. Number two, fail big. That's right. Fail big. You only live once. So do what you feel passion about, passionate about. Take chances. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. You have to work at it every day. You have to plan every day. You've heard the saying, we don't plan to fail. We fail to plan. Hard work works. Working really hard is what successful people do. Don't confuse movement with progress. And anything you want good, you can have. So claim it. Work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back. Pull someone else up. Each one, teach one. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference.